guys, Larissa with BecauseYou.net is here. Today is a really cold day in West Michigan and we had uh, a few cold weeks here. So this video will be because it's so cold outside and it's still blanket season. So we will be making this poncho. This poncho with the hood, I call it wear your blanket. So we basically will be making a blanket with the opening for the uh, uh, neck and we will attach the hood so this poncho is extremely warm soft and nice if you want it to be longer on the arms you will need to start with more stitches we will start with 24 stitches and we will use nine skeins of silver gray because chunky chanel yarn and again if you want it to be longer here on the arms you will need to start with at least 30 uh, stitches otherwise 24 stitches and nine skeins and i will show you how to make this beautiful poncho it's perfect to sit on the couch and watch tv on the cold uh, evening or if you're a football fan you can wear it uh, on the game to the game and you will be the warmest there between all the other people and uh, needless to say the most unusual so again this beautiful poncho uh, i call it wear your blanket and if you're ready let's get started okay guys if you're ready let's get started so in order to start i always make a knot on the end of the stitch this is very simple like that and then you're cutting the tail close to the knot this will prevent uh, the Chanel yarn from unraveling now we have a uh, walking yarn on the right and we have tail on the left now make a loop like that insert your hand grab walking yarn pull it through so this is your first stitch and if you pull walking yarn down or up you can make it bigger or smaller and we will keep it about one and a half uh, to, uh, inches tall or high okay now you insert in your hand you're pushing uh, yarn through and this is your second stitch now we will be using uh, the this working yarn and your right hand and we will be uh, casting on 24 stitches so insert your hand grab working yarn pull it through insert your hand grab working yarn pull, pull it through keep doing this way until you have 24 stitches this is the easiest way to make a cast on chain for hand knitting guys Okay, now let's count. Counting stitches is very easy. You're counting either top uh, openings or bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. So we need 24 stitches. So here you go. We have 24 stitches chains, guys. So what we're doing now, we're turning the chain on another side like that and we will start knitting our first row so this is the first stitch already we're keeping it here it's just laying here and uh, we will be knitting all these knots in the middle not the top part not the bottom the middle uh, stitches and the reason we'll be doing it it will make us a beautiful chain on the bottom so this is the first stitch that we will be pulling through lift this knot grab working yarn and pull it through this is your second stitch this is the first one here the second knot lift it insert your hand or fingers depending how big your stitch is and pull it through and keep doing this way until you pull through all 24 stitches This is our last stitch guys and don't miss it because it's kind of hiding here on the back 
uh, okay so now we have 24 uh, stitches chain what we are doing next next we will start knitting a third uh, second row I'm sorry so we will be knitting pearl stitch pearl stitch knitting is quite easy you just need to understand how to do it so you're grabbing the stitch working yarn goes on the top you grab uh, the stitch and you push working yarn through like that now take another stitch you working yarn on the uh, top of it and push it with your big finger like that so you keep doing it this way uh, okay we need to need nine stitches guys so one two three four five six seven eight nine now after nine stitches we are knitting six stitches okay because we had the beautiful cable in the middle of our poncho so we uh, purled nine uh, stitches now we are knitting or making a knit stitch for six stitches see the difference this is purled this is knit now we have eight stitches left and this stitches will be purled again while we're doing it we will make a beautiful cable knit in the middle of our poncho as you saw it on the uh, video uh, i showed you where before we started knitting so this is our last stitch and we are purling it okay okay so now second row we are doing exactly the same as we did in the previous row we are purling only now from the right to the left grab your uh, first stitch and push working yarn through grab and i'm still using uh left and right you see that i'm uh, holding the stitch with my left and i'm pulling uh, pushing the right uh finger through it's easier for me to do this way okay so i think you might try to do it the same way so it's easy to see which stitches to purl which to uh knit because knitted uh looking like chain purled looks like bumps so we're now knitting six stitches in the middle and then we are purling nine stitches to finish this row so this was our third row guys okay before we will start cable knitting here in the middle we need to make four rows so uh, let me make one more row and then I will show you what to do next. Row number five, guys. Starting the same way, we are just purling our nine stitches before we reach that middle part. And that's where we will start our cable on the row number five. Here we are. So we reached our uh, middle part see this beautiful knitted part take three stitches pull them up front and then grab this third stitch you're knitting here one two third stitch and knit it now we have these two left here crisscross and knit these two stitches first the right one then the left one you just made a little cable see the same with the other three guys pull them up front this two and knit the third one now take the right stitch and knit it over and take the next stitch and knit it just did the another crisscross see we have two little cables in the middle here and now we're just knitting our nine um, stitches in pro stitch now next row just 
purling. When you reach this uh, cabled uh, six stitches, make sure to knit all six because see this guy is hiding, this guy is hiding on the back. It's very easy to miss that stitch, see? Don't miss it, count. Uh, there should be six stitches here, guys. Six cabled stitches. There you go. And now just purl the next nine. What we will be doing? We will be knitting the same way, guys, for 26 stitches. I, I mean rows, I'm sorry. So we're uh, purling nine and then we're knitting six and we're doing it for four rows. It's very easy to count. One, two, three, four. So we're going one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth row, you're doing your cables, your crisscrossing. If it's too hard for you guys to crisscross, you just uh, you can just keep knitting the six stitches up front. You will have a beautiful line of uh, knitted. It will also be stucking out when you wear your uh, poncho and it will still be really beautiful so either crisscross uh, stitches every fifth row or just knit the six row uh, six stitches and purled this again we are doing the same pattern for 26 rows guys and then i will come back and i will show you what to do next now let me show you what to do when one skein is uh, used so I'm making a very simple knot, then tied it and make sure that it's very nice and tight, it's not unraveling, pull it, just try not to break it, and then cut the tails close to the knot. This way you connected the yarn, now pull it and try if it's not unraveling, see? it's not unraveling it's pretty strong and you cannot really see it so now we will keep knitting guys so now we have 26 rows done and we actually i actually started row 27 now when you knitted uh, or purled at row 27 and you reached the six uh, knitted uh, stitches we are knitting them as is and then uh, make sure you are following me then we will be turning and needing this direction we're keeping this uh, part not needed for now so it's four rows already one two three four and now we will be uh, cable knitting here so we're knitting this first stitch, actually the third stitch, and then we're knitting these two guys. So we're doing the cable. The only difference that we're doing it in the middle, we're leaving this part here. It's because we're making the area for the neck. Now keep knitting purl stitches. And then come back to the neck area notice guys I do not skip the first stitch in this pattern and the reason is why because this will be easier and more beautiful to connect it on the sides uh, in an invisible uh, way okay I will show you how okay so here we are guys we purled uh, our nine stitches and we have these three knitted guys so we are knitting them so we're basically doing the same what we were doing for 26 rows the only difference that we're doing it to the half and then we're going back skipping this uh, part all together now knit 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 and purl nine okay guys so we reached our uh, cable part 
so we are doing the same as we were doing for 26 rows we are knitting four and then on the fifth row we will be uh, making a crisscross or cable okay so one two three four now we're doing a cable so two going up front you're taking the third one you're knitting it now you're knitting these two and start with this guy now just keep knitting so how many times we will be making this uh, how many rows we will be making it for we'll be making it for three cables guys so one and two more i will make it and i will come back guys so here we are we have our neck area done one cable two cables three cables are done now you see that we have a long uh, part on this side and we don't have much on the right side what we are doing now we will be cutting our yarn here like that and now we will start knitting second part of the neck how we will be doing well, now we will start knitting this part from the right so it's very easy you just uh, grab working yarn and uh, pull it through the first stitch like that and keep this tail hanging here okay and then just purl nine stitches so what we're we doing we are pulling these two laying them up front and we're knitting this third guy okay now we're knitting this two others first and second the same way as we did on the left side we are now going to the right we're not knitting here we're keeping this for the neck area simply knit three stitches don't miss any and then purl nine do the same way on this side as we did on the left purl nine stitches when for four rows and then make a cable in the middle and again if you want you can just keep uh, those stitches knitted in the middle without making a cable if you want to simplify it still will look really beautiful and now we just connected because we kept knitting and now uh, three knitted and purling nine stitches let me show what to do here guys because if you remember we have this tail hanging here so to connect this to uh, walking yarn and the end of the previous row i will make a knot like this and then one more knot see now you cannot see where it connected just cut the tail and we're done so what we're doing now guys we keep knitting the same way again for 26 rows okay 26 rows and that will be connected and then uh, i will come back and show you how to cast off guys when you're done with the 26 rows it's time to cast off to cast off uh, you're grabbing two stitches together and then pulling uh, working yarn through like that now you have one stitch add another one you have two and now push working yarn through and again you have two stitches push working yarn through have one stitch add another push working yarn through casting off is uh, the same in hand knitting as from the right as uh, the same as you would be doing it from the left oh. ah, we cast off now we're cutting the tail we're making a knot and cut the tail of the knot now take this uh, end or uh, tail and insert it in the last stitch pull it through 
you finished your knitting. Now weave in the stitch, I mean the tail on the back or underneath the chain and then stuck it in between stitches like that. You are done. So now guys, we will be making a hood, okay? So we have this opening in the middle. We will start making hood from uh, here to here. We will leave, uh, so you see these cables? So we will start at the middle of the cable. So one, two, three, four. So here in the middle and we will go all the way around to this middle part of the uh, after first cable. So we will need six stitches on this side and then six on this. So let's turn the knitting project. So that's how we will do it. So here is our opening and we will make a knot over here. Cut the tail. So we are leaving us this from the cable to the half of it. And now see the cable cable in the middle. We will start making stitches. So insert your hand and grab working yarn that we have this uh, here on the back. Okay. Then use the next stitch, two, use the next stitch, three, next one four, next stitch, five, and one here in the middle. It will be six stitches, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's turn on another side. We are on another side. See our six stitches, one in the middle. Now keep doing the same way. One, two, see they will be across from each other. Then will be three, another one, four, five, and six. So we have six stitches on each side. And we will be knitting them with simple knitting uh, stitch, not purled, just simple knitting stitch. Make sure do not miss any of those because it will uh, make you a beautiful hood three six and three six so when you're making it you're just turning turning knitting project and then knitting this six on another side there you go this first stitch you see that we have this uh, tail uh, hanging here you can just connect it with the simple knot to the poncho that it wouldn't be unraveling like this and then we can just weave it in so now we will be knitting this six uh, uh, stitches on each side okay guys so we uh, needed or I needed uh, this 12 uh, stitches six on each side for 16 rows okay see this is my hood that is how it looks if you want it bigger you can keep knitting a couple more rows uh, 16 is perfect that the hood would look like in the picture for this video so now let me show you how to connect the top of the hood in invisible way okay so this is our poncho you can see how it looks here in the neck area this is shoulders this is our hood now let me show you how to connect the top in invisible way you can connect it in a different way if you want to but i really like this way because it's uh, it will be basically invisible uh, connection on the top so this is the tail uh, of the yarn insert this tail inside this stitch on the opposite side now this uh, working yarn uh, I'm, I'm sorry this tail goes back 
to this stitch. Now we are on this side, so this working yarn or tail goes in this stitch. Now it goes back in the stitch on this side and I'm going from inside out. Now on this side, going in the next stitch and then we're going to this stitch that we used here from inside out. Now we will be doing the same to the stitches on the right and on the left. So we have a stitch here from inside out and then go back to the same stitch we were using here from inside out. See, we have pretty nice connection here. Now going inside, next stitch and returning back to stitch on the other side. Going inside this stitch, go back to this stitch on another side, going in the stitch on the left, back to this stitch, now right stitch, go back to this stitch. See, it's come very, very nice and practical and non, uh, non visible connection here. Again, Going to this stitch, going back to the stitch on the opposite side from inside out, stitch on the right from inside out, go back to this stitch, stitch on the left, back to stitch on the previous, stitch that we have just left, and then go back to the stitch here. Here we are. We just finished our hood, guys. Can you see it? Now we have this tail. Make a knot to prevent unraveling again. Cut it. And just insert it inside the hood like that. Here we are. A beautiful hood is ready. So this is our beautiful poncho, guys. As I said, I used nine skeins of silver gray chunky Chanel from Becozy.net and uh, we have 35 colors, starting March 10, we will have 37, so make sure you check us out, stay home and be cozy!